All right, let's start out just getting some movement, paying attention to our breathing. Let's start out in a gentle forward fold, the ball's in front of me. My feet are hip width apart. Hip width is about two fists. I'm just gonna have a slight bend in my knee as to not put too much stress on the low back. My head is hanging heavy. I can move it left and right. And I'm gently pushing and pulling. As I push the ball away, I'm sinking down. I'm looking back at my navel. I'm shaking my head, bringing the ball back. Just waking everything up. Gentle bend forward. Bigger bend in the knees, bringing the belly down to the thighs. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Bringing that ball back and pushing the ball away again. Inhale, exhale. Looking back at your navel. Now let's do a very gentle twist. Step that left foot out and the right foot out. Bring your left elbow onto the ball. Take a bend in that left knee and gently look up. Bring your arm up. Bring your chin by this uh, right shoulder. Looking up. Let's take this right hand. Bring it forward, turning the ball, our body towards the ball, squaring everything up, and open it back up. Take an inhale. On the exhale, bring that arm down, looking down towards the ball, square it up, and inhale, open it back up. And exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up and release switch sides put this right forearm on the ball take a deep bend in that right knee and take your arm start rotating your spine looking up bring that arm up look chin past your shoulder straight up with that left hand up in the sky inhale on the exhale bring the left hand towards the floor squaring the shoulder up and inhale, look up, exhale, bring it down, inhale up, and exhale, bringing it down, inhale up, and exhale, bringing it down. And now take and take a, a little bend in both of your knees, and let's just push the ball away, looking back between the knees. Stretch that ball a little further away from you, getting a stretch between the scapula. Look back at your navel. Shake your head yes, shake your head no, head is hanging heavy. Roll it in. Now let's come down to our knees. And let's just put the ball um, right in between our knees and our hands. We want our knees directly under our hips. So our knees directly under our hips. Our feet are straight. We're just into a tabletop position. My hands are directly below my shoulders. And we're gonna do a cat-cow. So the cat is all the way up. I'm looking back, right? And the only thing that moves is my spine. My arms stay stiff and strong. My weight is extended through the palms of my hands evenly. And on the cow, we just push the belly button into the ground and we look up all right so the only movement is the spine we're getting movement into the spine we're adding our breath all right inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale, arms are stiff, only thing moving is your back. Inhale, and exhale, take your eyes, look all the way back at that navel, 
get that arch in the back and exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale all right and now let's bring it up onto the ball so we're gonna put some weight into the ball and bring it out just slightly in front of you all right and now take the same strong arm pushing through the palms and round it up you can get some movement with the ball push it out up Right, now let's add some movement with our hands. We're going to inhale. Exhale, extend that left palm. Right goes behind you. Chest comes to the floor. And inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, rounding the spine like a cat. Exhale, push it out, looking up chest going towards the floor inhale up exhale belly button down chin up looking up extend through the shoulder inhale sucking the belly button into the spine rounding the spine exhale inhale and exhale And release. We're gonna switch arms, bring that right hand on the ball, take deep breath in, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, inhale up, chin to the chest, navel in, exhale down, look up, belly button down to the floor, extending through the fingers and then through the tailbone. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and release. Now let's take both hands under the ball. We're gonna keep our knees just like they are and just lower your hips down to your heels. We're gonna take our hands out on the ball. I'm gonna put my, the sides of my palms and my pinky on the ball and we wanna have room to roll out. So take an inhale, exhale, push the ball away, looking down between your arms, bring it up. Inhale, looking out of my hands, chest is going down. And exhale, my chin drops to my chest. I round up one vertebrae at a time. My hips are staying back on my heels. Inhale, leaning down with my chest, my gaze is forward past my hands. My arms are active and strong. My chest is leaning towards the floor, dropping down, chin to chest, and bring it up. Inhale, chin to chest, exhale, roll it back up. Inhale, dropping the chin to the chest. It's just a nice fluid movement. Inhale, dropping your heart, dropping your head down when your head gets down your chin. Exhale, roll it back up, stacking those vertebrae one at a time on top of another. Arms are active, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. Getting traction in that shoulder joint. We're getting space and blood to the spine. Loosening up the muscles. Now let's take the ball 
I was we can start out with it on our right side. And I'm just gonna come into the tabletop position. My knees are right below my hips, and I'm gonna inhale. On the exhale, I'm gonna bring my palm over, push this through, getting a little bit of curve in my upper thoracic. Bringing it back. Inhale. On the, and I'm going to put my palm down. Exhale. Pushing that away. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So on the exhale, I'm bringing my chest down. I'm getting the bend in the elbow. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. This time as you exhale, I want you to, if it's in your practice, to get a little turn here, put your right hand on top of the left, and give this a little bit of traction. We're getting a nice twist um, in our upper thoracic, getting a little um, extra uh, protraction out of our scapula area. Just nice and gentle, you can pull hold with this right hand and then gently pull that left arm back and away inhale and exhale and release we'll do that on the other side so i'm just going to bring this hand out for support it'll be bending on the inhale and exhale i got my palm down tabletop position inhale Exhale, pushing that away. Stretches all through the rear delt, all through the back of that shoulder, the posterior shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. Bringing it up. Inhale. Exhale, push it away. Inhale up. Exhale, push it away. Inhale up. Exhale, push it away. Inhale up. Exhale, push, extend, drop it down. This time looking over at the ball. And then inhale, exhale. I'm just gonna gently pull, get a little traction on the ball. Traction through my shoulder joint. Can turn and look up at the sky past that left shoulder getting space in the rhomboids this time I'm gonna take my left hand I'm gonna hold on to that right hand and I'm gonna pull with my left hand pulling creating more space in that shoulder joint inhaling and exhaling and this time I'm gonna pull back Pull back with my right shoulder, out with my left. Back with my right, out with my left. Each time getting a little more stretch. In with my right, out with my left, and release. Bringing it forward. Let's just put our hand each side of the ball. Take an inhale, and exhale. Push the ball away. Come down into child's pose. If it's more comfortable for you to stay in this stretch, stay in this stretch. Otherwise, take a break, but bring your elbows down. You can also release the ball, bring your arms straight back behind you. Child's pose is a resting position. It's a, a safe, calming, relaxing, nurturing position. Anytime you're feeling um, stressed, uh, this is a great position to go into and just do some mindful breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, let your belly fill up. Let your belly fall between the thighs. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Two, three. Hold. Two, three. Exhale, release it through your mouth. 
slowly come up one vertebrae at a time. And let's go into tabletop again. And this time, let's start out um, just our normal tabletop where our, our knee is right below our hips, our feet are straight out, and we're just going to do some core strengthening, lengthening here. Inhale, take the left hand out on the ball, stretching all the way. Now inhale, exhale, lift that right leg and extend each direction. So my hand is going one direction. I wanna rotate that femur in. You can flex that back foot so you can try to get those hips label, level and then extend that right toe. Now stretch, hold the uh, belly button into the spine and bring it in and stretch. Inhale, exhale, stretch. My gaze is staying forward right above my hand. Inhale, and exhale, stretch. And I'm gonna switch hands. Right hand goes on the ball, and my right arm extends out. My transverse abdominals are engaged. I'm lifting my left leg up. I'm gonna flex the foot to level off my hips. I'm extending through my heel and through my hand, and my abdominals are engaged. My hips are level, inhale. And exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Bring it in. This time, I want you to feel like you are stretching that leg out of the hip socket, pushing it back. Hips are level. Extend the shoulder out of the hip socket. You're stretching fingertips to one direction, toes to the other, hips are level, shoulders are level, spine is neutral, and release. Come back to child's pose, take a deep breath, and exhale. And exhale. All right, while we're down here, let's just do a little, um, bit of our neck stretch and maximum through our vertebrae. Just take and bend forward. I'm gonna have my forehead straight down close to my knees. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna bring the ball in gently. And I'm going to just, like you're gonna do a somersault, just start to lift my hips. Feel the stretch. Lifting my hips, holding the ball. Getting some stretch in all the vertebrae, whole entire spine. And release. And this time, I'm just gonna come up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale. And exhale. And I'm gonna do just a, a quick shoulder stretch. I'm just gonna come over to the side here and get this pectoral. I'm gonna bend down. I'm still in my little child's pose, bringing it out. Now I'm gonna extend the arm and I'm gonna floss, moving up and down with my hand. Release. Let's do the other side, just bringing the ball out, come at the 90. I'm gonna press down so my stretch is right here through my pectoral area. Dropping it down, extend my arm, and hand and wrist flexion up and down. We're neural flossing this entire um, arm fascia line, fingertips all the way through the shoulder. And release. All right, let's do a little more of our back fascia line. Let's bring the ball in front of us. And I'm gonna just take, I'm gonna keep my left knee bent. My right foot is snug into the ball. Turn a little so you can see here. 
and I'm just gonna push that down into the ball and I'm gonna if you can if you need to keep a bend in your knee keep a bend in your knee all right so I'm gonna take and your other foot can be on it but we're gonna work the right leg first so if you just need up here to for comfort that's fine so I'm gonna inhale I'm gonna exhale I'm gonna gently lean forward towards this right chest going down now I want to take and I just want to press that give this a little pulse like you have a gas pedal on that right foot so forward backward forward backward forward backward nice and gentle and you should just feel everything melting and relaxing and as you can straighten the leg just keep straightening the leg I just move my hand so you can kind of see what I'm doing forward and backward and I'm going to release now I'm gonna work this left side so my right leg is the resting leg and I'm going to inhale start dropping my chest down I'm extending my leg to my comfort where I feel resistance and when I feel that stretch I want to hold it there and I want to gas pedal out my foot so pressing through the ball of my foot into the ball back and forth And this is a really great hamstring release. You can just immediately just feel everything loosen up. All right, and now let's try them both together. So you, you need to be barefoot and not sweaty to be able to grip this. So I just wanna bring my feet onto the ball and I've got a nice little grip on it. I'm gonna inhale. You can keep a bend in your knees if you need it. I'm gonna exhale, inhale, and then as I exhale, I'm blowing it out. I'm bringing my chest towards my knees. I'm gonna hold when I feel a stretch, and I'm going to just push and pulse with my feet. Push, 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 back and forth. Okay, release, sit up straight, take an inhale, and exhale, inhale, bring your arms overhead. Take your left arm and bend it, your right arm and bend it, so they're just, so backs behind your head supporting. Inhale, exhale, dropping your chin to your chest. Knees can be straight if it's in your practice, if not, keep a bend. Coming down slowly, bringing that chin to the chest. And now pump those feet left and right, up and left and right at the same time, just little pumps. This is a great fascial length stretch. Don't force anything. Continue breathing. And I can just feel the tissue loosening and melting. And you can roll back out of it. Take a break, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. I'm going to bring my arms up again, bring them behind my head. Inhale and exhale. And I'm going to pump those toes out one more time. Push, push. I'm getting a little more stretch this time. Making an adjustment on the ball, bringing my heels down and pushing through, pushing through those toes. Push. Push, push, bringing my head down closer. It's an entire superficial back line from the palms of my, the soles of my feet, my plantar fascia, all the way up my legs, through my back, and over my scalp to my eyebrows. We are stretching this whole entire line and it feels amazing and release. All right, let's do a side. Let's do a side laying stretch. Um, let's just go over today. Let's just go right over the top of the ball. All right, so let's start out. Do you want the ball right at your midsection? Okay. And I'm just gonna gently come down. So we're gonna stretch this whole lateral line. So I'm gonna bring this left leg out. My right leg can stay here for support right now. I have my 
This is just the beginner stretch. I have my elbow under my shoulder. I'm gonna inhale, exhale, bring it over. I'm gonna move my right hand out. I'm gonna feel that stretch to where you're comfortable. This may be your stretch. Maybe this is your stretch. This is the line we're stretching, is this whole left lateral line from our ankle all the way up to our armpit, and then I'm gonna extend my arm and get it out the arm, okay? So it's inhale, exhale, bring it over. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. This time, I want you to just gently open that left shoulder up two inches, look up at the sky, and bringing it back down four inches, move it a little bit more. So you're squaring a little bit with the floor and keep your hips stable. Open it up. So the only thing moving is my upper body and you'll feel more stretch through the hip. Look at now, so this is just a little gentle movement left and right with my upper thoracic. Inhale, exhale and close. Anytime you're opening and creating space, you're inhaling. When you're closing, you're exhaling. Inhale, I have more space. Exhale, squeeze everything out. All right, now let's take this left leg now and I'm gonna do the opposite. And if you need to, you can put, you know, if you need to support your head, support your head, you don't want tension in your neck. So now I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna move my the bottom. So I'm stretching with this left hand and I'm gonna point that toe down on my toe, back on my heel. It's a little movement, you'll just feel more of that stretch through your tissues. Down, gentle, slow. Can you just imagine those adhesions breaking and that fascia stretching? So we want our muscles and our fascia to be able to glide. We don't want them stuck together. So this just helps assist in breaking it up. This is wonderful do, to do after blasting. It's also great to do on your non-blasting days. So my hips aren't moving. This is just an internal external rotation of the femur. Release and let's do the other side. Let's just come to neutral. Let's just do a couple um, of quick cat cow just to neutralize everything. So bringing it in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. And extend it back into child's pose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. All right, let's do this right side lateral line stretch. So I'm gonna bring the ball to my midline and I'm just gonna slowly start extending. I'm gonna keep this right leg as a support leg, supporting my weight. Maybe this is your stretch. If this is your stretch, that's all your body needs. You're stretching your body. Um, I stretch a lot, so I need to get the full extension for my stretch, but if you're feeling it here, stay here. This is perfect, okay? So inhale. And when you get about here, you're gonna to wanna to be exhaling. My hips are stacked. My stretch is all the way down this right side. Inhale. That was exhale, inhale. And exhale. Make sure you're not holding tension in your face or in your shoulders, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, we're staying down. Inhale. And now we're just gonna open that shoulder two inches and close it down. Open, my gaze is looking past that right, right armpit, up at the sky, bringing it down. Get a little more stretch in our upper lateral line, bringing it down. Inhale gently, move it a couple inches. Exhale, bringing it down. My body's still, this is the only thing moving, is right in this right upper quadrant, bringing it down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. All right, now let's just get this lower. If you need to support your head, you sure can. Let's make sure you're comfortable. So this is our stretch right here, and we're gonna open, bringing the heel, close, open, close, femur rotation. The femur's going down and up. My hips are stacked, they're not moving. My transversal abdominals are always engaged in supporting me. stretch grab that take the left hand grab that right forearm and pull and release gently bring it back and let's just go to neutral again just do a couple quick cat cows belly button and arms straight exhale it up inhale Exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. All right, so that was our outside line. Let's do our, our inside line. Let's just bring the ball up, do a pelvic stretch. I'm gonna bring my hands. So I'm, everybody knows this tabletop position. We've been repeating it throughout. It's our knee below here, below our hip, and our wrist below our shoulder. Everything's lined up. I'm gonna inhale. On the exhale, I'm gonna take my body. I'm gonna move to the left. I just had a wonderful hip opener. And bringing it back up. Inhale, exhale, gently moving over. If this is your stretch, stay right there. If whatever you need, stretching over. And bringing it back, very controlled. You don't ever wanna lose control of your balance or the ball. Inhale, exhale, gently bringing it over to the side. Inhale, on exhale, stretching it out. Inhale, bringing it, exhale, taking it over to the left. Now I'm gonna think about that right hip and I'm gonna let that right hip go and let it push left a little bit more. Bringing it back up. Exhale, letting that left leg go. Kicking that right hip over to the side. And bringing it back. And one more, taking it out. And this time, get to where you're comfortable and take and straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. You can take the ball with that Straighten and bend, straighten and bend, straighten and bend. Now straighten, drop a little bit into that left side to your comfort zone. And I'm just gonna keep dropping, get that stretch, feeling the full stretch. And when you're at your maximum stretch, take and point and flex the toes. So flex and point. Flex and point, flex and point, flex and point. I'm gonna make another adjustment. I'm gonna come down to my elbows and then I'm gonna shift my weight back into my pelvis and I'm gonna point and flex, point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. And I'm going to gently walk it back up. 
come to neutral and just take it back put your um, your glutes back to your heels take a quick child's pose inhale exhale one more cleansing breath inhale and exhale and let's switch sides I'm gonna take the ball and I'm going to get into my tabletop position I'm gonna bring that knee up on my ball and just make it make whatever adjustment you need to be comfortable stable comfortable trust your ball trust yourself know that you are supported okay inhale exhale dropping it out to the side inhale up exhale pushing it out to the side inhale up and exhale dropping it out to the side inhale up exhale dropping it out to the side make sure that you're not like tense in your back and holding yourself up to fight the stretch this stretch should feel good so it's inhale exhale taking it over to the side now bump the left hip even further getting a little bit of a C going pushing that more to the right bringing it back up inhale exhale over to the side bumping that over to the left inhale up exhale over to the side inhale up taking it over to the side now gently extend that right leg further bringing it in extend and when I, I'm bringing the ball in and bending my knee when I'm bringing it in so out and extend dropping the left hip into it and bring it in it's just like a natural progression to get the short fibers and then the long fibers of your adductors your inner thigh to bring it in extend it out pushing over to the side and this time I'm gonna point and flex point and flex point and flex point and flex if you want to drop down you drop down you push back sink back into towards your heels sinking back getting more stretch through your pelvic region pointing and flexing that foot dropping further into there pushing the left hip over to that right toe point and flex point and flex and gently lean forward towards your hands and bringing it back up and just drop it down into a child's pose take a couple of neutralizing spine deep breaths cleansing breaths inhale and exhale your hands can be in front of you or back by your spine inhale and exhale inhale and exhale all right i'm just going to take now and i'm going to take my knee left knee into the ball and I'm going to make sure I'm supported. I'm gonna come into the tabletop and I'm going to extend the right foot back behind me. And I'm gonna drop down into this knee, dropping into the ball. And I just wanna gently roll back and forth. Try to keep that weight evenly distributed. And bringing it up and take take the ball back behind you and we're gonna have to move a little bit here sorry about that so we want to be in tabletop and the ball is back behind us so we're just gonna do the reverse this time from tabletop and we're gonna take we're gonna extend our right arm and our left foot using the ball this time so it's right arm out this ball back there will help keep your hips um, balanced core is engaged bringing it in inhale exhale kick the left foot back onto the ball pushing your pushing into the ball to keep those hips level 
stretch, push into the ball. You should feel that through the front and bringing it in. Inhale, exhale, push it out, push down into the ball. Hips are level, extending through the foot, through the arm, opposite directions. Bringing it in, inhale, extend, and exhale. Switch feet, tabletop, inhale, and extend, pushing that away. Pushing into the ball, hips are level, and release, inhale, belly button is in the, sp the spine, pushing into the ball, stretching, release, inhale, exhale, extend the leg, push into the ball, push through the foot, push through the fingers, core is engaged, should be a nice straight line, and bringing it in. Now let's take with our feet on the ball. And we're gonna stretch the front of our legs. Come up, if you need to hold on to something for um, stability, please do. Otherwise, just take, and I'm going to hold my ball here, and I'm just gonna push through my hips. So my stretch, I'm pushing my pelvis forward. My stretch is right here through the fronts, um, through my hip flexors, my quads. And now, um, if you have your balance, you're going to push your heart forward, pushing your heart forward, pushing your heart forward, opening up that chest, opening up, open, starting to gaze up. The mouth would be closed if I wasn't talking. Inhale, looking back. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, exhale. Gently come out of the stretch. Come down to your tabletop. Gently bring it down to your elbows. Put your forehead down between your arms. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Bringing it back up. We're going to do the stretch one more time. Get your balance, hold on to something if you need. If you need to be by a wall to have your balance, that's great. So our stretch is going to come through here. We're gonna open up this whole entire front line. All right, so I've got good stability. I'm gonna start stretching by pushing. See how my, this is what I'm doing like this. So this would be the full thing. So I'm gonna go real slow. I'm gonna inhale, exhale. I'm pulling my glutes away from my heels. That's your first stretch. Inhale, exhale, gently, slowly, fluid movement, creating more space between my glutes and my heels. My shoulders are starting to come, shoulder blades are coming close together. My chest is being pushed up forward towards the sky. I'm starting to look up, my chin's coming up. My gaze is going back. My head is dropping back, relaxed. Inhaling and exhaling. I'm depressing my scapula, keeping my shoulders dropped from my ears. Pushing through my hips. Hips are flowing forward, heart's going up. Crown of my head is being drawn towards my toes. And gently release. Release. Let's move the ball. Let's gently come out of that. So anytime you go back, it's nice to go forward, just in a nice neutralizing stretch. Inhale, exhale, come down. Look back at your knees, your navel. Feel that full stretch. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And let's bring this right knee into the ball because I think that we skipped it and this always feels really good. It's just to get this knee in here and just give it a little bit of the runner's lunge, rotating around. We're gonna 
gonna do the other side. We're gonna do this one twice, another side, just to make sure that we got that. Bring this left knee in, switch, kick this one back, pushing the weight in, rotating around to what feels good. And switch legs, right knee in, left knee back, pushing the hips through the, to the ground and gently rotating. And release. Let's come down. Let's do a little bit of a um, a glute stretch here. So bring, I'm going to bring the ball over to the side. Actually, let's just start with it. It starts on here with the ball. Let's kind of reverse this position. Start down here with the ball and just, um, let's just do some uh, synovial fluid. Just get these moving. Bring the ball in and out. I want your core tight. So pretend like someone dropped a block on you. <laughs> Right? That's tight. Now bring it in and out. That supports your lower back. When you have your transverse abdominals engaged, your back is not going to um, come off the floor and it's not, you're not, won't be using your back muscles. So now I'm going to bring the legs wide and in. Wide and in. Core is engaged and in. Breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, Exhale, now reverse, knees in, open wide, in, open wide, transverse abdominals engage, in and out. All right, bring your right, uh, left foot on the ball, right over the leg, and it's, I'm above my knee and above my ankle, you never wanna be right on the joints, and bring it in and out, in and out, in and out. Bring it in and extend. Okay, this time bring it in and gently take the right above your knee in one hand and your foot in the other. And just, I just want you to do a circle. We're going counterclockwise. The ball is moving slightly with it. In and out. Now reverse the circle. My transverse abdominals are still engaged and breathing. In and out. And now just go bring the ball in closer to you so you're nice and stable to where you feel the stretch. Try to keep this in one straight line and just go left and right. Kind of back and forth. This should feel really good. Bring it into your comfort zone, left and right. And now I'm gently gonna extend the ball. I'm gonna extend my leg over. I'm gonna bring the right arm out and then look over to the right. Gently grab a hold, the left hand, grabbing the right middle of my leg and bring that up a little closer. Hold on to that knee and just give yourself just a gentle twist. Release, switch legs. My right foot is on the ball. My left is crossing over my right thigh. I'm going to bring it in and out. Getting my stretch. And now I'm going to take and I'm going to do some circles and you will have one side that's tighter than the other. Make sure your transverse abdominals are engaged to protect your low back. And now pulling that ball closer to me and I'm holding that knee open and I'm just going to go left and right, left and right. It kind of feels good to push above that knee to kind of get as much space as you can in that um, between the hip and the knee of that left side. Just think you're creating space. I can feel that back in my 
back of my glutes, those hip rotators are tight. So now I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna drop this down over to the side, gently. Bring this right arm up, left arm. I'm gonna look over to my left palm. Inhale and exhale. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna grab my right shin. I'm gonna bring it in closer to me. I'm gonna push that foot away, the knee open. And I'm just gonna move back. If you need a little movement here, do what feels good to you here. Some people this will be too much. Others will like this little bit of movement here. My left side feels like it's a little stiff today. And release. I'm gonna stretch this out just a little bit more here. Our hips can always use stretching. So um, if this is in your practice, um, go ahead and do it. If not, um, stick to keeping your knee straight in line with you. If you want a deeper stretch, um, angle it over. It's like you're gonna do a pigeon on the ball. Stay at this angle so you can see. So if this is your stretch, you can start to angle and you can start to drop down in. Coming forward, laying into it. You wanna keep your weight even, and you'd wanna make sure you're balanced. So um, if you're wobbling around, your muscles are going to be tense. So you have to be comfortable on your ball. You have to have the right amount of air in your ball. You can see I, I, my ball's a little squishy, so I can just sink my body into it. It provides great traction and great stability. Um, so if you have questions on how much air you should have, um, my measure's about 40, uh, between, uh, right around 40 in the center and it'll you know you'll want to customize it to meet your needs depending on your weight your height your comfort and for me I want a little more stretch I'm gonna bring my I'm gonna bring my foot straight out and make it right on top of it so this is be going to be um, maximum stretch if you have great flexibility and then you can just drop down into it and sink your weight onto it and then you can get some traction Moving back and forth. If you're in the runner's lunge position, you can move back and forth. This is an amazing stretch if you have this flexibility and range of motion. You do not want to try this. You never want to force these stretches. This is stretching all the way through the back of that hip capsule. It's stretching all my hip rotators, all through those glutes, all, all through that right side. My weight's evenly distributed. I'm gonna inhale and exhale. Relax, sinking my weight, letting the tissue soften. And I'm gently gonna come out of that stretch and I'm gonna do the other side. And it's the same thing, modify to meet your knees, your body, your flexibility. So if you're a beginner, you're not flexible, you probably are gonna be right here. This may be enough, maybe you can get back into it, maybe you can get your body weight over it, maybe you can angle out to the side. All right, just keep modifying to meet your needs. Um, the thing with stretching is you can usually um, see results in a couple of weeks, so stick with it. Um, it's amazing, it's great for your body, helps prevent injury. So I'm coming all the way into the maximum stretch. And I'm going to, my left one is, is tighter than my right. So my right one was straight, parallel, and my left one I'm just keeping a bit more of an angle just because this is what my body needs today. So I'm gonna inhale and exhale, I'm dropping down into it, getting my body weight right over those hips. Inhaling and exhaling. So 
it feels good for you to move just gently on that ball. Move. If it doesn't, hold. Whatever feels really good to you. I'm going to make one more adjustment and just finish out this stretch. Make it a little straighter here. I got a tight spot in that lateral hamstring, so I'm probably going to blast here. All right, that feels wonderful. All right, let's just do a couple of our hands. Let's bring our hands down. This always feel good. So the trick to this, so everything that we've talked about today is our, we, our hips, our hips are right over our ankles, and then I'm just gonna put my shoulders right over my wrist. This gives me good stability, and I'm just going to sink into it. Then I can start a little bit of my movement. So go back, it's all about control. Don't wanna be reckless. And this time I'm going to bring my hands the other way. Inhale and exhale. Push my weight down through them. Get some movement. There really isn't a right or wrong way to stretch um, with this, uh, this area here. It's what is going to feel good to you. Get my thumbs, push through there. Just getting wide on the ball, pushing through the thumbs. And then move, oh, ah, oh, okay. Wow, I found my hot spot. <laughs> so I have, um, I have it separated on the ball. Push, and then I'm, my arms are straight, and I'm pushing through it, and now I'm just moving my weight left and right. And I can just feel that that's breaking up. Um, it's it's stretching those little fibers through all those attach. Oh, wow. It helps with break up the crunchies and I can feel it even kind of coming up into my uh, forearm. And that feels so good. I'm just gonna do one more neck stretch. I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna bring my heels down, uh, my glutes on my heels. Bring the ball in and gently, I'm gonna pull back with the ball this time, bringing my chin to my chest, pulling the ball in, bringing everything close to my knees, and gently, I'm gonna lift my hips gently away from my glutes. Inhaling and exhaling. And release. And I'm just gonna reverse that, open up the front. This will be a nice way to end our stretch, relax. I'm gonna come back on the ball. I'm gonna find a very comfortable position here. And you may want your head on the ball, whatever's comfortable for you. So you start here, bring your neck for support. All right, so there, this is comfortable for me. So if you see, I'm just, my glutes are right off. It's gonna depend how tall you are. I'm gonna inhale and exhale. Bringing my arms up on the inhale. Slowly down towards my body, towards my hips on the exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And I'm going to flip it the other side. Just bring it back again. Dropping my body back. Wherever you're comfortable. Inhale. Bringing my arms over my head. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, 
Bring the arms down to the side. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. I'm just going to gently roll back. Inhale. And exhale. Push. And this is just kind of I'm bending and straightening through my knees. Inhale. Bending my knees. Exhale. Extending my knees. Inhale. Exhale, straighten the legs. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, straighten. And take a deep breath in. Exhale. Bring your hands to heart center. And gently bring it up. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed your stretch and I hope you have a lovely day.